Because at no point in my life did I ever think I would be in the same space as Red Man. And then who else all was there? Red Man to live. Jada Kiss, Dave Chappelle, the best Chappelle, which was a cool pop up. Just Blaze. Just Blaze. So it was cool to see that. And then the room was so intimate when we got in there. It had to only be like 100 people in there. It's the same thing that I would do like on Spring Break where I go someplace like with, I don't know, in college. You go, fill it out, and then you start meeting people. Yeah. And then you ask people, hey, what are you doing? What's up? <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> right? Where are you going? What are you doing? What have you heard? Right? Whether that was like a party or a club or something back in the day, here is like, all right, what event? Mm -hmm. Is there anybody particular that you're here to see? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Maybe we're worth like continuing to know. So that's the strategy, all right? If you want to go to anything, period, that's probably going to help you out. But then especially if you're going there for free, like you just <laughs> ask and ask and ask. Yeah. That's the important part. If you're going for free, you have to talk to them to everybody you're coming around. Because if not, you're like, well, the paid events are pretty clearly laid out you know in the app and stuff but you know which i know we're gonna kind of get into the usually the more fun stuff or not even just fun but the stuff that you can tell is gonna probably have the most high quality people there you're gonna learn about just by talking to people and like a real party bro like man i've talked to 10 people and eight of them keep talking about this one event shit we're going to this one event you know what i'm saying exactly and seeing what's cracking there and if not then we can go back to the one that the other two people brought up right see what that joint looks like because you can judge whether the event is worth going to based on the quality of the person you're talking to. Yes. And quality of person doesn't mean just this is their role or are they popping or not. You might not even know them. It's literally just how they're presenting themselves. Yeah. Do they seem like they got a good head on their shoulders? And do they seem to be on the same type of time you're on? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like There's some people who could be, you could be a major label exec, got a good career, but hey man, you look, really I'm just here to kind of like chill. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm, I'm gonna speak on my panel and keep pushing. Like, so it's not like they're not gonna know where to go or they know where to go. It's not necessarily gonna be in the mix that you're specifically trying to be into. Yeah. So yeah, filling people out. Now, I can't tell y'all the exact way to do that because I don't know what type of time you're gonna be on at that moment, right? <laughs> right. But finding somebody who's on the same type of time that you are on, right? It could all vary different times of night, different times of day, <laughs> right? So that's the rule. Now, on top of that, though, then, of course, you got to start doing the weight of things. Uh, What's up, All these events. I got all these people that say go here and there. Then it's, it's logistics. Like, which of these events seem like they're most worth going to? Right. What's the distance? Do I have a car or not? <laughs> Do I have a scooter or not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is it cold or not? You know, like you start weighing every single thing. Yeah. Like, do I need to dug, dug, dug it out? Do I need to push through? Right? Which, like, go, like skipping ahead, the night where uh, you went to go see Hannibal Burris. Which, shout out to Hannibal, man. I still ain't. Um, yeah, you gotta meet him. He's a cool guy, man. He's a cool guy. I still ain't, like, you know, obviously met you a person or even had the phone combo. You know what I mean? Um, But, the short exchange we had and, and knowing that you were a fan of the pie, I really appreciate that, man. And this was the the mentality when I say, again, like we in the moments of logistics and stuff, but you ended up going, like, you know, I was asleep. Yeah, you were like, fuck out. And we were waiting to hear back. Like, we were pretty much out for the night, except for if he had hit us up. Yeah. All right. Then I'm like, hey, but the way I feel, I'm just going to have to sleep because <laughs> it'll suck to be up for like two hours and ain't hit, ain't hit us up. And then we got to go and I'm just, I'm hurting. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just, right, I'm asleep and then, or I'm up for two hours and then nothing happened. And then I'm still hurting. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just going to go to sleep. And I'm a rare, like, napper, sleeper type person. Yeah, so usually I don't go until I'm just out for the night. But go to sleep. At some point, you're like, hey, y'all, I'm about to go out uh, to meet Hannibal. Bet man, you got it. I'm glad it's two. <laughs> so I'm glad it's two of us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> power in numbers, baby. <laughs> I went back to sleep, which is important. An important tip, bro. Like, this dude, like, hit these events with multiple people. Yes, yeah. But sometimes you got friends that are just are better at making friends than you are. That too, you know. Sometimes you got friends that got better. You no, know, they can manage night better than than you can. You know what I'm saying? They they they're more like that type of time. Like it's so it helps, bro. Yeah. Conquering the divide and conquer. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, like better at things, no different topics, better, mm -hmm. like whatever it is, whatever it is. And, you know, then, because you wake, woke me up, I slept for a decent amount, but it was like broken. So I actually woke up. I probably wouldn't have woke up, woke up if you didn't wake me up at all. You know what I mean? So I woke up. I'm like, all right. Hmm. This is that wake up where you really should be going back to sleep. You kind of, am I going to wake up or not at all? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Patty H. Corey left. He said he went to the game. Hmm. Let me go see. Am I going to go to this? It's like, oh, Jacory got this. I'm good. <laughs> but at the same time, Dana Shaw, you know you're not going to be here forever. You know what I'm saying? It's only, that, that was technically the last night. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Last night. <laughs> and then, I'm a fan of Hannibal. I really thought you, you know, you know, I just know it's comedy growing up. I didn't know much about the music side of it. I mean, he didn't, well, he didn't really have it out there. But I was like a fan. Like, so it'll be dope to meet him if that does happen. But even if I don't, man, like, you know, shit just be happening at night sometimes. So you got to go. Or even not just at night. Like, stuff just be happening. So you got to go. And you only, you here for a reason. I get up. Let you know I'm going to get there. You tell me. You, you end up sending me the location or whatever. I think you were still talking to Hannah at that time. And then hop on the scooter. I'm like, dang, man. Scooter at night is a little different in a city out. I know. The breeze started ripping through your yeah. jacket, man. So started ripping through the jacket, <laughs> bro. I really know. And I'm like, ah, everything felt like safe-ish that I was in and around when we rode scooters before. So everything should be all good or whatever. You know, because I'm, look, I always had this one rule. You don't just go to anybody's hood. You know what I mean? Like, my hood is good enough. I don't think I'm hard to just go up to anybody and, like, try to, that ain't, that ain't a chance you take. Yeah. Yet somehow, I'm riding this scooter. I'm like, huh, oh, this is taking me in a direction that we haven't been yet. Like, what the fuck? I'm not going to a, a bridge, a highway pass. Yo, the bridge is when I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like huh. I was like, okay, this is interesting. You know what I mean? I see a uh, couple of people that uh, you know, that obviously weren't well, you know what I mean? They look like they might bite you, you know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, you know, and I'm on a scooter and this and that, and there's no protection and I'm fast and I'm, 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 I'm able to be physical, I don't have no problem, but I'm like, hey, someone jump at me, the scooter, like, it just is what it is, you're gonna have to like engage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you can't up the scooter feed, <laughs> you know, and I could catch a scooter on foot if I wanted to, so I know there's other people that could too. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. You know, I'm, you know, you just gotta think. You always, you never stop scoping. So I'm just like, all right, cool, because this, this is looking very different than what we were before. I get off on a scooter. Well, I, well, after I like pass all these police, and I, I, I don't know what was going on, and get off. I'm like, it's nobody outside but me. However, I'm in the middle of a place that don't look great, and I'm like, you know how? Have you ever like put in an address? And it'll be the right address somehow. It's on a different side of town. It might be something like Southwest versus yeah. Northeast or something. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Ain't no way in hell Ja'Cory here and didn't warn me. <laughs> Corey was there and didn't warn me. I mean, you should have said, like, at least look sketchy, but you're in the right place. That's all. Yeah, because <laughs> in my defense, right, when I went, I was riding behind a group of other people on scooters. So we was we was in numbers. See, you got a gang with you. Yeah, so they were like ahead of me. So I'm like, all right, I know if anything like fucked up were to happen or come, like they will react to it before I would see it and I could just make my decisions based off of that. <laughs> so I didn't think about it being in a sketchy place until like you called me like, man, like is it in this place in a sketchy place? And I was like, oh, I guess it is kind of sketchy out here. Like it is like a bridge right there that's like a homeless dude around the corner. It's like a, you know, Anywhere with a tattoo shop, most places, most places, tattoo shop equals slightly sketchy area. You know what I'm saying? This one I could debate because it was like a, a coffee shop and a tattoo shop. So that to me made me go like, oh, this can't be a sketchy area, man. Like, nobody serves coffee uh, in sketchy areas. You know what I'm saying? Sketchy people don't want coffee. Quick second, have you ever seen an artist catch some traction and then they start to move? The numbers start to grow. They might even go viral. But then fast forward a year from now, somehow their numbers haven't really grown that much. They dropped back close to the same monthly listeners they had before the traction and viral moment. Well, that's because you have to know how to convert those moments into careers. And we've done this again and again with not only songs, but artists. And so has J.R. McKee, who's been a part of helping artists like Lil Durk, Rod Wave, 
Justine Sky and Money Long. And we just did a collab where J.R. McKee does a step-by-step -step breakdown of how he took Money Long from zero to millions of monthly listeners and winning a Grammy over Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, and Jasmine Sullivan. Check out this breakdown while we still have it up. You can check it out at www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Don't forget the www or it won't work. Again, that's www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Back to the video. You know, so I didn't think about it because like I said, I was, I was ganged, you know, ganged up when I went yeah, yeah. and by the time you got there, I already been there for like an hour and a half, two. So I'm, I'm, I'm deep into the, you know, deep into the funds of the night. You know what I'm saying? So like, that ain't even crossing my mind. So you know, um, my, my bad, man. You know. <laughs> and again, like, you know, I done done a lot of things, been a lot of places, <laughs> but it's the lack of being prepared. Because I would still have sleep, mind you. You know what I mean? I'm on a scooter cold. Shit hit my face. I'm like, this don't look right. I'm starting to have to wake up. Then I, I now nah, I was outside dead ass alone, bro. After I passed like a bunch of homes. Yeah, cause you came like late, late. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. It's probably what <laughs> one a.m. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. And I'm just like, dang. I don't, and I didn't hear no activity. I didn't even hear the music around the corner. Like that wasn't even. I, don't, I guess it hadn't technically started yet, right? It one man. man was with football me performing, but he wasn't there. No. Yeah, not bad at DJ since I got there. So yeah. Well, I don't know, man. You can't yeah. nothing out there, man. <laughs> That's crazy. So you tell me, oh, you walk around the corner. I walk around the corner. I started seeing people. But I'm good because at least I see that there's some people out there. Um, and then get to the door. Old oh, buddy at the door. Tell me it costs $70 to get in. 75 Whoa, whoa. Exactly. And I'm like, yo, yo. I came out <laughs> late at night. I'm really just here to, like, chop it up with Corey and Hannibal and, like, go back. So, and y'all, I know y'all been talking for a minute. So I'm thinking like, I'd probably be in there for 10 minutes. And again, not that I don't have $75. <laughs> I didn't plan to spend $75 though. <laughs> so, hey, I, uh, oh man, you know what, Sean, you here. It just says over there, this is business expense, technically anyway, because all this is business, everything you're here for. Uh, that's what saved me. See? <laughs> that's what saved me. I was like, man, I guess it's. But damn, man, what would what would Grant Cardone do? <laughs> <laughs> he was in the seventy five and write it off. Hey, you about to be careful with the what would Grant Cardone do the way he's been moving lately, but I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I thought as I was saying, but it was too late. It was too late. It already happened. <laughs> well, I feel like I was at the door when I got there, I was like, cause the I walked up to it. Similar experience to you, area being sketchy. I had. I was like, damn, what the fuck is the thing? And I like, I walked to the door. To, that, I don't know if you saw that front door to the venue, but it was like locked. No, and this guy in the door was just like, well, okay, yeah, go to the other side. Get when I get there, the security guard's about to fight this dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you saw like the really large guy outside the door. A really the security large, guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see the dude. He was fine. Well, yeah, because by the time you got there, it was, it was all, that explains like, the energy of yeah. Mito. Yeah, he was in the very bad when we got there. But like, when I when I, I got there, as him and the guy were about to fight, mm -hmm. I'm like, mm, let me just walk between y'all and get over here to the to the door. And then the girl's like, oh, you got a ticket? I'm like, no, nah, you need a ticket. You know, time play stupid. No, nah, you know, Hamble told me to pull up. We need tickets for it. Yeah, yeah, you can buy tickets online. Okay, great. Let me step to the side real quick because my service, my service was terrible. Also, awesome. I don't know if your service was great, but my service was like on and off in that shit. It was crazy. So in this area, I didn't have the greatest of service. So I still had to like walk around to the front to get some bars, download the app to then just see that this ticket is $75. And I'm like, damn, I could just get back on the scooter and ride back to the hotel right now. Save myself the embarrassment. You know what I'm saying? She think I walked around the building, you know what I'm saying, to check on my phone. She don't know. I'm think, double thinking about the 75 And then that's when I sat there and thought, I was like, man, I'm already here. And I already rode the, the scooter. 12 minutes to get over here. You know what I'm saying? That's another 12 back to be disappointed. Like, Sean, I'm gonna ask about it. I can see you now. I wrote him, oh, man, you back, man. Like, how was it? They didn't even go in, man. That shit's fair, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I would have been like, bro, come on. Now. <laughs> so I said, fuck it. And I paid for it and I wear it. And it was cool. I have a personal rule with events that I pay for that. Because this event had an open bar. I should throw it out there, which made it better. And I'll personally exact my revenge on the bar. Like I'm like, all right, same five dollars. If we was if it was if this wasn't an open bar, these drinks probably about twelve to fourteen dollars. So that's about 
five to six drinks to get my money's worth. I mean, anything beyond that is just icing on the cake. If I can get five to six drinks and get like three connections, this $75 will be worth it. That's how I look at it. I had, for those that wondering, I had eight drinks. <laughs> we kept going back. Yep, I had eight drinks and I met like five or six people. So it was worth it. Yeah, hey, me on the other hand. <laughs> I wasn't paying that seventy five dollars. <laughs> I was, I did start to pay. <laughs> I was, I was right there. Shit, it, it was the security guard's energy that made me say, "Let me go ahead and like try to pay." Cause this, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he was, he was blown, bro. <laughs> a really bad move. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I ain't trying to start nothing weird. No matter what, he just said, "I can't get off, get in off the strap that he don't fuck yeah, it off." You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't care what you got, you give me money. I'm like, nah, nah. So I was like, all right, let me. Like at least open my phone, like start checking it out. I put my credit card information. And I push some button, and it wasn't like letting me like go to the next part for the pay page. And I was like, man, let me step back, man. I'm gonna rethink this. God, God didn't want that to happen. I just kind of tried to pay. God said nah. So I stepped back, and like fell into this group of people. I saw this girl come out and give this guy like this little band or whatever bracelet band, and then keep moving. And he was standing there. And then dude was like, hey, man, I'll give you this band for $50. And I was like, nah, bro, nah. And even though I was, I was like, I'd rather pay the $75. Sometimes I don't move where I just don't want to deal with new people. But I'd rather just pay the money than deal with someone I don't know and then possibly be finessed or yeah. feel like we have a relationship where I owe him or need, like, it, it just didn't want to deal with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, because I was already, I'd already been through what I've been through. But then this girl comes back. And she had a couple more bands. Like she went to the car, came up, and she was like, "Hey, we should like do one one." And she was giving it to me for free. Mm. I was like, "Oh, yeah, of course, of course, yeah." You know, smiling, t- chopping up with her, and then she gave it to this other guy, and then she like put her hand back on him. It was in my hand, in his hand. She put her hand back on, him, like she was about to take him back, and she said, "Hold up." Do y'all love black women? <laughs> I said, hell yeah, I love black women. <laughs> like, and I'm looking at Buddy like, bro, you taking too long to answer. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, do you want to get in or not? Like, let me be clear. Sean loves black women. Sean loves black women at all times. <laughs> but at this moment, I don't even understand why you would even think. <laughs> right? So I already had the reflex just because I grew up. You know, I had, like, black women for life. All right. All right. Like, I'm already going. Like, you asked me that. It's, it's, it's a trigger. And it's a reflex. So it's nothing for me to think about. But when I know this buddy, like, <laughs> not answer, I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you, dog? <laughs> like, like money. yeah, just get your band and keep moving, bro. So got that. And then I try to, you know, go get in again. Like I put it on. And then um, I got to, and I, you know, I put it on my phone to my ear, tell the security guard, like, hey, yo, um, my, I like I'm talking to you. I said my homie said that I actually could get in with the with the band. So basically, say make it seem like oh I just didn't know I could get in with this, and I just like showed him my risk, or whatever. And he was like, like what? He was like no, like my homie said I could get in, man. Like, like for real. And he ain't really trying to look at my hand because he just in that bad mood. And then these two young white women who were like the door letter ends. She saw there was some energy going on. She was like, hey, what? Wait, what's going on? What'd you say? And I was like, oh yeah, like. My, my my homie said I could get in with this or whatever. I all need this. She was like, oh. At first, she was like, oh, no, it's something different. And then she looked at it. She was like, oh, yeah, that is it. Come on in. I'm in for free, and I'm good. Right? Which I was happy because I didn't get to meet Hannibal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, the reason I'm even here, I would have mad if I paid $75. You know what I mean? And then, like, yeah, because I'm not here just to have fun at, yeah. the, at that point. Like, because I just woke up. You know what I'm saying? I could have <laughs> just stayed asleep. But... There you go. You read the energy, and then you, know, you put yourself in the right position. Yet again, you can you can make your way in for free. Love navigating those moments, and then like that was a cool night. We'll get into like some specifics. I know y'all are hearing a lot of story right now, but this is our first time really get a chance to recap. Recap. Yo, <laughs> that was a cool night because in the line, I heard people mention Red Man. Well, it was some Red Man, but. I only know Red Man, so I'm thinking some other different Red Man. Because at no point in my life did I ever think I would be in the same space as Red Man. 
I would actually be that. willing to go to like an event, knowing that he was, if they said like there was a little concert and I had the opportunity, I was free and it wasn't too expensive, I would pull up. But still, in no point in life did I ever thought that I would be in the same space as Redman. And I didn't even know he was out here moving, doing shows and stuff like that. Yeah, same. Yeah. So, oh, wait, it's actually Redman over there. And then who else all was there? Redman to live. Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Which was a cool pop up. Just Blaze. Just Blaze. Which yeah. I feel like Just Blaze, like it was, it, it hit me in a different way. I know and had plenty of respect for Just Blaze for his career. But I really realized the set and the way things were set up. It was like, you know, they all performing with Just Blaze, really. Yeah. Like, these are different artists and people up there, but really they just on Just Blaze tracks. He's running all of this. Yeah. So, yeah. It was just cool to see it in that way, almost like you're a producer doing some type of burst verses and you bring all your your folks out here like, yeah, I did all these collabs or whatever. So it was cool to see that. And then the room was so intimate when we got in there. It had to only be like 100 people in there. I was like, man, I was giving like. At max, we became like maybe four. Yeah, max maybe like 400 people, yeah. When we first got in there, it was yeah. closer to 100. When we first got in there during, who was performing when you came in? Because I was eating tacos when you first got there. I was eating. Oh, yeah. So I don't remember. I don't know what you saw at that time when you it walked was away. Free. It was, I don't think Red Man even started. I think he was about to start. Or he was just mad to be a member. So, it, was, it was more, cause I'm trying to think, when I got there, it wasn't like packed out yet, but it was like a good amount of people. It wasn't that many people. Point blank. Right. <laughs> so it wasn't that many people. <laughs> And then for the, to see them all performing in a more intimate environment, and then um, and then being in the same role, Dave Chappelle doing his thing, and it's still such an intimate environment. It was cool because I felt like I was a part of one of those random nights that you always hear Dave Chappelle popping up somewhere random. Exactly, bro. That was cool. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not even like he took over like it was his show or anything. He didn't do like a full special, but it was just cool to have him around it um and see him. A person, he was lit. He was having a good time. You know, I was, he was, he was hot. You know, I just like to say people were having a good time. <laughs> His audience know what's up. So, you know, we got sugar coated. He was, was Matt. Yeah, he was gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> but then, you know, reeling it back in, like, so that's that same type of mentality of just like figuring out, like, all right, how can I make song work? How can I make it shake? And then the, go anyway type of mentality right. I for sure could have just stayed my butt in the bed and look stay as long as you can cause you for sure would have been gone if I didn't get there late yeah. you know I was about to leave when you got there I know <laughs> you like hey, what's up baby? this taco bro <laughs> like, I, I'm about to here but I want I, I was like well I'm only here for a few minutes let me wander in there and then we end up staying or whatever and you got more drinks so it was good so you know yeah. you made it more worth it <laughs>